you click on this video, please go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that subscribe button down below and click that notification bell to get notified every time I post a video here on YouTube. And go follow my beauty Instagram at underscore Haley's Beauty under Hello, my beautiful subscribers. So today I'm doing another to check it right with me. Um, excuse my horrible eyeliner job and my horrible um, fake eyelash job. I know they look bad, but anyways. Um, yes, yeah, sorry that I'm doing this video again, but I'm fresh ideas, so please comment down below what you would like to see next so I know what to film. But, um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this, yeah, enjoy this video. Let okay, so I'm just taking my Tarte palette, and if you see me looking down here, I'm kind of doing it, um, off a look inspired by somebody else. So this is not a tutorial, so no, I'm not copying somebody else. Um, I'll give the YouTuber credit just in case they would ever see this when she won't. She has like 200 some odd thousand subscribers. But her name is Tiana Cosmetics and it's her sexy cat makeup tutorial. I was just looking up different tutorials this morning and I like this so I'm doing it and seeing how it looks on my eyes. So credits go to her but again this is not a tutorial so this is just a chit chat getting ready with me so I'm pretty sure she don't expect me to like give her credit because... I mean, one, I only have like 300 some odd subscribers, and two, I'm not making a tutorial out of this. Um, but yeah, update on my life. Um, well, you see here, um, you know, I just like am finally rising back from the dead. Like, literally, I was, what I had last week was awful. Like, the video that you saw Thursday was just the beginning of it and it and it progressively got worse like I literally got hit by a Mack truck like no joke and you could still hear the sickness in my voice like it kind of sounds like how it sounded Wednesday or Tuesday or whenever I filmed that video but like my voice was really bad which you'll see in my December vlog that will be coming probably at the end of this month I doubt it'll come I doubt that I will film it on Christmas, I mean post it on Christmas Eve, it might be on Christmas Eve, it might not, it might be the Sunday after on New Year's Eve, um, but basically I've been vlogging all December, so, and I meant to do it like separate vlogs, but like I told you last week, I just don't have enough footage to put that um, in like as a one little vlog, so I'm just making it one big vlog, so there is more... Um, there's more footage, but, um, yeah, it was bad. I even, like, my voice had made, like, my voice is so improved by even yesterday, because even yesterday I still sounded really bad, but I woke up this morning and it's just, like, better. So I don't know what I did last night to make it, like, that much better. I think it's just because I've been really consistent on medicine, um, Especially yesterday, I was, like, super consistent with medicine because literally I was, like, dying. Like, I swear. Oh, my gosh. I just got eyeshadow on my face. Um, I was literally, like, on my deathbed. So, I mean, that's always cool. And, yes, yeah, sorry for a uh, sweatshirt, but my closet kind of threw up even though I'm sick. Like, it just threw up randomly. And, you know me, I like to go through my closet once a month to clean it out and see... I could throw away anything or I mean not throw away but trade it in or whatever or not trade it in get money for it or whatever just so I'm not like wasting space in my closet um so yeah I was doing that yesterday so that's cool and another exciting thing is my um poem came out <clears throat> I mean my poem my book came to my house so um the book that my poem is in my um, came to my house, so I am planning to add that to my vlog and read it to you guys finally since the contest is over and nobody can copy because it's my poem and nobody else's poem. It's literally in a book, so yes. So that is exciting. Um, next I'm just gonna take, hmm, she doesn't even say what color she is next. Okay, well, I really like this look, so I'm just gonna have to, you know, copy it. Okay, then she goes a little bit, but um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting about the poem. I'm like really excited about it, so yeah. 
I'm so upset though. I lost my MAC 224 brush and I'm like going crazy because I know I had it. It's always in the same place every day and it's lost and I'm like going crazy because I need it in my life. Like it's a must have. Like not having my favorite blending brush is a really big problem because that's basically the only blending brush I have. I mean this is considered a blending brush but I consider it more as my crease brush and I can't find it anywhere so... And um, that's cool because this doesn't, I mean, I like to use two different brushes for my crease and blending brush. So I'm pretty upset about that. Like, honestly, like, really upset. So, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to use to blend out this look, but. I mean. Yeah, so hopefully this is the last day that I'm, like, staying at my house. Because, again, I just don't want to get people sick. And I want to make sure I'm all better before I go out. And, again, if you know what I mean. Because, um, that's just not cool. If you're trying to go out and get other people sick. So, yeah. <clears throat> what else can I talk about? I'm literally so excited for Christmas. Like, you guys don't even know. Like, like you don't even know, guys. And I remember to put the lights on in the tree so we don't have a dead tree like we did last week for half of my video. Um, Because we don't need a dead Christmas tree. Am I right or am I right? Like, we just don't need it. Like, we want a pretty... Christmas tree but yeah I figured I mean sorry that this is like I know a couple weeks ago I just did a chit chat gay run me but honestly one I have like no ideas and two I have something that I need to do for work today and it requires me to do certain makeup and the um tutorial and I was planning on doing a holiday like tutorial. That might be Thursday's video. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, but anyway, I was planning to do a like holiday tutorial, like part Christmas party tutorial. But I can't do that because I'm doing something for work that involves me taking a photo and having certain makeup. So um, yeah, so I have to um, do something that goes with that and. You know, like I said, I didn't want to copy the girls and do a tutorial on this when somebody's already done this tutorial. So, um, that might be Thursday. And I'm just running out of ideas, guys. I'm like, sorry. Like, like I'm like really sorry. Like, that I just. I ran out of ideas and I used way too much of this. I didn't realize how that this was like black. Oh well. Still looks good though. Next time use less. Less is more ladies and gents. Like always remember less is more. This is what happens when you don't have your Mac to Alright, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go fix this up and to how that I like it, but yes, so. Alright, I'm back. I did my face. I'm currently baking right now, so now I'm starting on my contour, and again, um, excuse my, um, horrible eyeliner and false eyelash job. I know it looks, they look horrible, but do you think I'm gonna fix it? Nope, because let's just say it took me, like, a million tries to make it look good, and it just won't look good, and you know what? I'm to the point where 
I'm just not gonna worry about it and I don't care. Um, uh, I haven't done false eyelashes since like September, so it's been a while. My foundation looks pretty bad actually, uh, my, cause my skin is so dry, so I'm just having a bad makeup day. So yes, excuse my horrible ratchet makeup job for today. I don't know what's going on, but my makeup kind of just wants to do what it wants. So I'm sorry for the ratchet and horrible eye slash face makeup job. Like, but you know what? It's going to be unnoticeable anyway, so I'm not too worried about it because these are going to be like not good quality pictures, so you won't be able to see all my mistakes really. So that is fantastic. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know why my face looks so like caked. I mean, yeah, I know I put like a lot of makeup and that's why it looks cakey, but like, I think my skin is just dry and that's what's making it, the make the face makeup look so bad because my face makeup never turns out this bad. Um, but like I said, you're not going to be able to see it in a phone quality picture, so I'm not too worried about it, honestly. So don't judge my lack of eyeliner skills and my lack of false eyelash skills and my lack of foundation skills. But, I mean, you gotta think too, I didn't put on makeup for like a whole like week and a half because I've been sick. So, I mean, that's probably why my eyeliner turned out so crappy. And like I said, I haven't put on fake eyelashes since September because... I just haven't been in the mood to deal with them lately, and I've been meaning to get some more, so yeah, I've been saving them for like special occasions and stuff, so yeah, I'm sorry for my crappy makeup, but it's okay. Um, probably on camera, probably doesn't even look that bad, I don't know. I don't know, you guys will be the judge of it, I guess. Um, next, I'm taking my Kat Von D contour palette, you guys know, this is like my BFF. Mm -hmm. Gotta warm up those cheeks, ladies. Ah, wrong color. Mm -hmm. I forgot to do my jaw. I always forget to do my jaw contour. Gotta do my neck contour too, so like my neck matches with my face. Am I right, ladies? Or am I right? Okay, now I'm. You kind of have to do this Fenty um, contour in sections anyway, like I did because. It dries very quickly, so it's smart to do it like in sections because it dries so quickly and can end up looking like really patchy. Um, let me look down. My nose is starting to run, and that's not cute since I'm on camera. And. Like, why do you have to do this now when you were fine, like, two seconds ago? Um, turning myself into a skinny person. Yes, turning my face into a nice, sculpted, skinny person. Because, let me tell you, I need to do that. Whoop. Okay, perfection. Now, like, looking in the viewfinder, my makeup doesn't look that bad, so these pictures might turn out nice. Um, but, like, when I... Maybe I'm just being too critical of myself. That's part of the problem. I'm always way too critical of myself. 
and like things that I look bad that look bad to me with my makeup other people say they don't it, I mean it looks good so I think it's just me always being way too critical of myself but I don't know it might actually look bad and you guys might think it look bad but I hope you guys like like these get ready go with me because I like filming them cause they're like really easy and chill and I don't know, they're easier to film than like makeup tutorials. Cause like, I don't know. When I do it this way, like it doesn't make me feel pressured. And then it like, like, then like the makeup turns out decent. But, um, then when I know like, when I do like, when I'm completely silent doing the makeup, like I know it's gonna be like a voiceover makeup tutorial, so then I feel like, I feel like I have pressure to be perfect, like, and if I like make a mistake, then it won't be able to come up on YouTube. With these, like, I feel like I can make mistakes because I'm not teaching you how to do it. I'm just doing my makeup at my own pace and my own, and own piece doing it, so. Yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but it makes sense to me. Um, so now I'm going to wipe off my bake with this big honking um, brush. A Morphe brush. I got it from the Jaclyn Hill collection, of course. Like, you guys already know. Like, like y'all already know. And, um, oh man, I should have brought the, like, smaller MAC one that I have because this is not getting off all the product and I just, like, look white under there. Um, so, good thing I have blush and contour on. Well, I'm gonna put blush on. But to bring back more color, I'm gonna take these under highlight color to bring more color under my eye okay that looks better but this is just way too big of a brush why did I bring this I don't know like why did I bring my other one that I usually use I don't know it's a good question thank you for asking because I I honestly don't know and I'm gonna take my contour and bring it up a little bit more blend it out and like go a little bit darker on the forehead and I'm not using lipstick today because my lips are just way too chaps and crusty looking for that so I ain't doing that it's not actually you know what? I'm gonna use some of this I'm gonna dip it in my contour this is a good brush to get that more defined Okay, and then I'm gonna set this contour down here. Okay, then we're gonna use blush, and we're gonna use a little bit, even though for my picture I'm gonna put on more. And smile. a little bit because I like when my contour and my blush kind of like mix in together and it gives that like bronzy pinkish look and then last but not least I am going to um highlight with Fenty like Fenty has my favorite highlight just like yes honey yes I said I'm not gonna put on any lipstick I'm not even gonna try because my lips are honestly like so bad um yeah they're just like too bad to even 
even like put on anything like you'll just see the cracks right away and I'm actually gonna like semi con like good contour my nose like I'm not even gonna contour good I'm just gonna like I just kind of need to bronze it up a little bit because um yeah my main pants and that is the look. So that was my, um, my Chit Chat Get Ready Me video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, click that subscribe button down below. Turn on my notifications so you can get notified every time you post a video here on YouTube. And please go follow my beauty Instagram at underscore Haley's Beauty underscore. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching guys. Bye!